Yo, what's up, YouTube, man? You guys already know who it is. It's your boy, Octavius, capital E. And I'm back with another iconic and legendary type of video, man, because I'm at a legendary spot, man, known as Horse and Dickies, man. Now, this is not the Horse and Dickies that used to be on 8th and H Northeast DC. I'm actually at 7905 uh, Glen Nod out here in Merlin at a Horse and Dickies, man. Uh, the iconic spot, like I said, um, and I'm, I'm going for a fish sandwich. I haven't had no no fish in a while. Whiting fish sandwich. I don't think I'm gonna get no type of size, or anything like that. But uh, you know, I'm gonna go in here. It's a 4.2 rating on the review list. You know, you see a couple bad comments about the size and this, that, and the third. You see some good ones as well. I'm going to personally give you guys my rating, the Capital Eats rating. Uh, and I'm going to go inside, man, and see what it's all about. One of my favorite spots, definitely, when it was in the city. Uh, like I said, I, I'm going to see what this one does. Uh, I'll be right with y'all. This is, this is, well, some Nikki's here. Out here in Glen now, man. Definitely a different setup than the one. On uh, eight nation. How you doing today? Good. I'm doing good. Hey, quick question. All right, yeah. So today, like I was saying, man, I'm, I'm at Horse and Dickies, man, the legendary, legendary iconic spot, Glen Nod location. Today, sweetie, I want to um, order the fish sandwich. White bread. Uh, let's go white bread. Hot sauce tied in the bag. Yeah, hot sauce tied in the bag. That, be all you, that will be all. Yep, uh, 202-352-1261. Tay, oh, Octavius. All right. Yeah. So yeah, y'all, you know, your boy Octavius Capital. It's here, and I'm going to give y'all my nice review once my food is done. All right. So, yeah, y'all, um, just a little background. Um, you know, Mr. Dickey's passed in, back in uh, February of this year, 06, man. And, um, you know, they still keeping it, keeping it moving, keeping the, the business and the tradition going on and on. Um, yeah, man, like I said, today I ain't want to get no, no size, man. Just the fish sandwich itself. Um, yeah, my, like I said, Glen Nahum Merlin, man, Martin Luther King. And it's also a, a, a nice uh, dedication mural here for Mr. Raymond Smith Jr. Uh, as well, man. So... Again, I'm going to let you guys know my honest review on this fish sandwich. I hope that it be nice and crunchy. But it's your boy, man. You already know. Capital E. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, my food is now ready. Got my tartar and hot sauce. And, the uh, yeah, man. I'm about to see what this Fish is going to do. It smells pretty darn good. I can give you, I can tell you that much. Look at this, man. All this fish, $10. Couple of big pieces of fish, man. Um, I got white bread to study wheat this time. But um, I'm about to give y'all, y'all my nice review on this fish here. Piece of this shit, bro, bro. Uh. Nice and hot. I should have told them fried a little bit hotter. You know, it's kind of a thing with me. Like, I like my food well done. 
you know, um, because you know, I don't got time for nothing else, you know. I'd rather it be not over overcooked, but I'd rather it be well done than to be undercooked. But it's still good. And I'm about to see if this fish sandwich is hitting on what I need to be it to be hitting on. I know what I mean. Yeah. I wish I would have told them to, you know, fry a little bit harder. Okay. And it's light on the seasoning. Um, don't know why. I know I recall the horse and dickies in the city on 8th Street, 8th and 8th Street, if y'all are familiar with it, man. Whereas though fish always seem to be on point and fried to a perfection. Um, if I had to give my honest review, which I am, um, from a one to five, I give about a three, eight, at least right now. And maybe that's because I didn't tell them to fry my fish a little on the, on the crunchy side. And like I said, it's just lacking just a little bit of seasoning. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I won't come back. I just know what I would do the next time I do. And once again, man, y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Octavius, capital E. And I'm out. Until the next time.